Lewis is fronting, and I'm making a video, and I want to talk about what demons feel like to me. First, I need to say what I mean by demon, because by my own definitions, I am a demon. I mean by demon something that has been demonized by humans. One, that's one definition. Um, so anyone or anything that has been forcibly um, sacrificed or hurt very intensely by people would be one kind. There's different kinds. I would fit that kind. Another definition is an entity or spirit or mind, um, all sort of the same thing in our opinion, uh, who was subconscious, who was not conscious, but who was sapient and self-aware and subconscious and was then uh, either turned conscious or lived in the subconscious. Um, it can be the human subconscious. It doesn't have to be. Um, that's another definition. And there's there's others as well. We firmly reject the common held notion of uh, evil spirits being demons. We actually think humans create demons out of otherwise um just anything they don't understand or don't like anything they force into their own shadows anything they force into their subconscious or out of their awareness or the, that they have just decided to write off um and we fit that so we, by our own definition we we are a demon um but we wanted to talk about what they feel like sometimes so I felt fucking awful <laughs> to Max for a long time because I was holding a lot of trauma and Elysium switching in. Fuck, I'm trying to just do this with my words, but mm, people are wanting to say things. Lewis says that I was mean and had karmatic baggage from... 22 years of abuse from a parent and other people, not just that parent, who is no longer a parent. They disowned us. Um, and I think I turned into a demon, but I also see myself as an angel and as a defender now, I'm no longer a persecutor. Some of these terms are psychological terms in dissociative identity disorder. Some of the terms we've been using are occult terms. All of it blurs together for us because for us, our psychology and magical practice are so deeply intertwined, we cannot uh, separate them because they inform each other. There are... <laughs> We see him and Max keeps wanting to use their words, but I'm trying to talk and it's frustrating. So anyways, what do does other ones feel like? Because now I don't feel that way anymore. Now I feel, um, now I'm a defender. I mean, I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm really fucking depressed. Uh, but, <laughs> but I'm a defender and our court's strongest knight now and warrior. I am no longer out of balance. And um, because I am now above human consciousness, in my opinion, um, I have gone from being formerly a personal demon or daemon uh, that was of the unbalanced or chaotic variety um, because of trauma, uh, turning the chaos destructive. And now that, that a lot of that's been processed, I'm now a defending angel who fiercely defends and fights for and not against um, my other headmates. Um, but how do demons outside of our system feel like? So outside of our brain, who are not a part of our brain? Well, I mean, that's because like, Max, please let me do this. Okay. So we're switchy right now. So 
um, for us, King Belial, for example, he feels really like a weighted blanket or like very heavy. And I can already immediately, now that he left a bit ago, um, recognize his absence. Um, it's one of those things where like when they're with you all day, it's like you don't notice it anymore because you're just like hanging out. And then when they're gone, you miss it <laughs> and crave it. Uh, so that they kind of feel like a heavy weighted blanket and they feel warm to us as well. Um, Samael feels, gosh, how do I describe what they feel like? Cause also these people, we do still see these people as also our headmates as well. Cause that just means they're a part of our brain or they're a part of us, um, as, as well as a part of the world outside of us. But that gets complicated anyways. Because it's like trying to explain the psychological and the spiritual. It's like it, it can't be separated for us anymore. Um, <laughs> but Samael feels like wine. Azrael, actually, as well. Um, it, getting drunk on wine feels very similar. Um, I, I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they they feel fucking great. I'll say that they feel really fucking great when 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 they're in a good mood and you're with them. It feels amazing. And when they're depressed or like other things going on, it feels really fucking bad. <laughs> but uh, it can vary. Um, I'm gonna end this video and see if this is usable.